Hello. Today we're going to be looking at the song Banks of the Ohio. It's what we call a murder ballad. It's a song written about an actual murder. Now, originally the tune was never written down, so you will find different people doing different versions of it. It doesn't really matter if you get the tune slightly different each time you play it. It will have pretty much the same chord sequence, and this song has got basically three chords. Now I played it in the key of C, and the chords I used were C, F, and G. Sometimes the chord of G was played with a 7th added, and sometimes with a 13th added. More about that later. Now the song is a very straightforward one, and a very simple tune to play. In this version I've used really only two techniques. There are hammer-ons, and there are runs. That is, scale passages that link the main notes of the tune together. And that's what we're going to be concentrating on today, the runs used in this tune. But also, we need to look at the use of the plectrum, and the way the notes are picked with a downstroke and an upstroke. Now the downstroke is always used on the main beats, and the upstroke on the off beats. So when you're strumming, and I'll do it very slowly, it will sound like this. And when you're picking the notes, very slowly, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So when you're doing the runs, you're playing the down beats uh, on the main beat of each note, and on the off beat, the quarter notes, sorry, the eighth notes, you're playing uh, the up stroke of the plectrum. As in other videos, I, I'll remind you, you need to hold the plectrum firmly enough so it doesn't fall out of your hand, but you need to keep your hand relaxed. And try strumming the chords to begin with. So, those are the chords using C, F and G. Um, by the way, this song has a verse and a chorus structure. And interestingly, both the verse and the chorus have the same chord sequence. So you can actually play pretty much the same thing for the verse and the chorus. The words are different, of course. But uh, the tune that you play, what you actually play in your bluegrass piece, can, can be pretty much the same for each or you can change it a little bit, which is what I did. Now let's look a bit more closely at the left hand, starting at the beginning of the song. Now, we start on the chord of C, and we start with the note C here on the fifth string. We're going to go up to this note E here, and there we're going to play a hammer-on. Now there's the first run and we've got a chord of G running up to that note F down, up, down, up, down, up, down and the chord we create there is a rather nice one it's a chord of G 13th it contains the notes F, G, B and E and then we're going to slide from there up to the note G We create again a nice effect that we've seen used in other of my videos. It's where we go from this note F to the note G, and at the same time we're playing the open G string. So we're on the fourth string here, and then the last part of the verse. Now the chorus. Same 
run as before. To run from the chord of C to the chord of F. Down, up, down, up, down, down. And then I did a run down again. The chord. Now let's just do that very slowly. Now, I'll finish up by going through the whole song, verse and chorus, from beginning to end, but I'll go very, very slowly. <laughs> 